Let's go. Hey, what's going on? It's Coach Luca, and I'm going to take you through a lower body uh, dynamic warm-up. This is kind of some stuff where it's like, you know, I'm, I'm short on time. Uh, I still want to make sure my joints feel good. Uh, and remember, like, if I'm going to be doing something like squatting or deadlifting, I'm still going to do a bunch of ramp-up warm-up sets with the actual lift, right? But this is still kind of like a, a little bit of a movement flow slash sequence. And it moves from one thing to the next. So, yeah, I'm actually doing it in real time so you can see... Um, how it looks like, how long it takes. Like if you got eight minutes, you know, 10 minutes, even like a six to seven minutes, this will make you feel a lot better, be in a better position to, to start lifting. So I'm gonna start with these, I would say pushing my low back into the ground, punch my heel to the ceiling, feel my hamstring. But what I like to do here too, is then kind of turn in and you're gonna feel a different side of the hammy and then turn out. So I'm punching the heel to the ceiling and internally rotating the hip and the socket externally. And I'm gonna switch. Boom, same thing on the other side. Hold about three, five seconds. Turn in. Sometimes I'll even guide it because, like I said, if you don't have great internal rotation, I'm gonna really try to turn that femur as far in as I can. Out, switch again. Now you can do this for time, or you can do this for reps, right? So let's say you go five reps per side here. But the key is that every time you go through it, you're getting a little looser. And for instance, my right side is looser than my left on the internal rotation side, so spend less time on it. Now on this one, I'm gonna spend a little bit more time on it. And I'm constantly actively punching my heel to the ceiling. All right, so that's getting a little more free. From there, I'm gonna go to my 90-90 position. You guys have seen me do this quite, quite many a times, but what I'm going to also do is do this thoracic push-up, right? So you can see my knee, I'm going to put my hand here. My other hand goes in line with my butt, with my hip. I'm going to rotate my upper back as much as I can and do a push-up. And exhale. Keep rotating as much as I can. Come back up. And then from there, I'm going to do my 90-90 stretch. So I'm going to align my belly button with my knee, push my butt back like I'm deadlifting, close that gap so I'm feeling that big stretch in my glute here. I'm gonna push the ground away to get that extra, extra tension and then push myself back up. So what I do, I switch, but so you guys can see, I'm actually gonna switch to the other side and do the same thing, okay? Turn, rotate, take a couple of breaths, try to rotate my upper back even more. Come back up, belly button to the knee, push back. <sighs> Pushing into the ground now from the knee and the ankle. I'm driving for five, four, three, two, one. Come back up. And I'd repeat that for a couple of times. Now, from there, let's say I did three on each side. Now I'm gonna go into my tripod. So abs braced, think like somebody's pulling by a string, slowly driving in. Okay, once I'm here, I like to do the tripod stretch, which is open up my foot, push the shoelace into the ground, and then open up. So I'm pushing actively, really getting a massive stretch here. Reach for five seconds. I'm gonna control back down and switch up. Same thing on the other side, right? I'm gonna go drive up, shoelace opens up. Five seconds, controlling down. All right, so now I did this just for like a rep, but I'm going to now go, if, let's say we're gonna do two, three. My, my kind of rule is like, if the tighter you feel in a certain area, do a couple extra reps. Maybe one movement you feel perfectly fine. All right, move through it a little bit faster. Something stays tighter, do more of it. From there, we're gonna go single leg downward dog, give you guys a little bit different angle. So watch, so I'll groove this just on one side. So I'm gonna go punch away, making sure the hips are square. So I don't wanna open that hip up. I'm gonna keep it square to the ground, get my ears in line with the elbows, punch this heel out, big hammy stretch here. And I'm gonna come forward into the Spider-Man lunge, right? So now, same thing, I wanna be super tall, drop that hip, I'm getting a glute stretch, and get my reach. And then I just rep it, right? So I'd repeat, I'd go back, Align, 
forward. Usually go about for about five per side. So remember, I'm talking through this right now to go a little bit faster if I wasn't breaking it down. And reaching. Right, so let's say that was three. I would just switch it up and do the same thing on the other side. So you guys can kind of tell, I'll just do one rep here. Then you'll notice like one side will be tighter than the other side. Maybe spend some more time there. Tall spine, trying to lock out that back knee, punch that heel. And back in. And then from there, what I love to do is combine stability and mobility exercises, right? So we're gonna go, I'm gonna show you guys two variations of this. So the easier one is keeping the knees down, crawl position. The harder one is knees come off the ground. So I'm gonna do a bird dog from a crawl position. I'm gonna push everything into the ground and then go opposite, opposite, punch that heel out, hold for 1,000, 1,002, bring it back in. You're trying to pretend like there's water on your low back, like a glass, and you're trying not to spill it, right? So reach and bring it back in. And then from that position, I'm just gonna walk myself back to a squat and do a squat to stand. So I'm gonna go, butt comes up, shift left to right, open up those hips, pull myself back down, get some external rotation here. And repeat. So basically I go right back out to my crawl position, push the ground away. Nice and smooth and controlled. Notice I'm not rushing, using momentum here. Hold for a couple seconds. Bring myself back in. And we're down, back down in, in the squat position. Right? Same thing. We go externally with the rotation. Butt comes up and back down. So think about this will probably be, you know, five, six minutes into it. Then I'm gonna go to standing. In a standing position, again, we're gonna train stability and mobility, right? I'm gonna go in a knee flexion position, hold this for a couple of seconds, right? Matt, you could also push down, make this a little more challenging, stabilize. From there, I'm gonna go down into my RDL, feel my whole foot, just feeling that, okay? So what I do is go three reps per side, Back down, so imagine this is rep number three, okay? I switch sides, same thing on the other side. And notice too, I'm, I'm looking for control and smoothness here and not jolting, okay? So I'm gonna do two on this side. I'm feeling my hammy, my glute, feeling my whole foot, stabilizing, again, 1,001, 1,002. Ooh, a little tap, that's fine. All right, so from here, watch, I'm just gonna step in and I'm in my hinge position. And now I'm gonna go push my hand into my knee. Open up, other side. Right, and I'd rep it three and three. And then I'd go, for instance, back into my RDL slash high knee hinge, right? Now, if I'm moving through that with control, but ramping up the tempo a little bit. We're probably eight minutes in, you're getting a sweat going. Everything's feeling a lot better, looser, stable. And we'd finish off with maybe something like two sets of 10 seconds or three sets of 10 seconds of high knees, right? And just ramping it up. So I always say like set one would be 50, 60%, right? Right here. Rest for 10, 15 seconds, set two. Now we're going 60 to 70%. Shake it off. And then last one, we'd go, you know, 80, 90% for 10 seconds. A lot of stuff's turned on. That'll take you like eight minutes, 10 minutes max. Then you go, as an example, let's say that you're doing trap bar deadlifts, right? You do about three, four ramp up sets, like warm up sets up in the weight until you get to a working set, okay? So it's a great example, of, like I said, short on time, still wanna get an effective and efficient dynamic warm up in. Also, you can use this, what I love is there's a movement ritual throughout the day. If your joints get cranky, you know, you feel tight, stiff, you're sitting a lot or you're standing a lot in your work, you'd go through, you could even go through half of this and feel a ton better, 
right? So spend five minutes, two, three times per day doing this. If you've got low back issues, upper, upper thoracic issues, neck issues, this will help a, a ton with that, just getting that movement in. So try that out. Let me know how it feels. Coach Luca with another vlog soon. Peace out.